evil you. Reach the walls. I must find Jailbird. Sight on Leo fleeing across the river. He was chasing someone. It has to be Tailbelt. He is the only prize worth taking in this maxim. Work with me! Fear got your belly, dog. Pay for your sins. Vengeance is mine. Go meet your God. That song. You have spent some days in a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt blasted hair? It took a pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses then. <laughs> you are very quick and sturdy by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. 
I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas. Write your songs and bellow out in the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. If you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin guide your way. I do not want to do this. Leofred, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We have stormed Repton only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Larry. Even if you defeat me, the Rackersons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. You're slowing. Bah! You are strong will pain. You to stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before that. You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. Go on then. End it. No appeal to your guard. Or your king. I swore an oath to Sir Borgren to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burkred abandoned him. Betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. 
than choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leovrid. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Bertrand is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death? What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted. So close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on. Let's take you back. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird, this wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There's no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forges a new path. You were right about him, Jailbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. This must be that old raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. This crate is filled with songs. It must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return this crate to the old raider. Mm. Ah. Bert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Athling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. 
But it's over now, and everyone has gained something. Silver, honor, allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheolbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. Or should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uva. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That is good to hear. me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. The area sooner. statue the Senate's use.
Nothing but smoke and ashes now. I should get those silence off my back. Spread your wings, Surin. Show me what lies ahead. I need your eyes, my friend. This area is off limits. The other side was unbarred.
fortified. Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilpat. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls his friend. And to the south, Soma Yal's corner, and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it! Just as I thought, you're- Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many! Now come! The battle roars already! Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons! All others stay here! With me!
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. Oh. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. 
Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Thanks for the good work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. We can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one.
Tell me about what you do here. We're fishermen, my granddad and me, and we can help with anything you need. Bring us fish you find out there, and we'll pay you for them. I have something that may interest you. We've been looking for this fish for a long time. Thanks for... I will see you later, friend. Farewell, Eivor! Show me.
seasoning.
Lord. Forgive not these men their trespasses. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. Die! Stand down, Saxon. I mean you no harm. Bex, are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I can reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is.
Vex. I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got it. Be ready. to escape you Ask the dead. What do they tell you? They say... We do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you... Come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I'm not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. And I offer you a seat in our hall. I have no clan. And no need of another. You prefer to live alone here, with your bear? I prefer vengeance... ...against the man who hung my wife and left her for the crows. Who is this man? A Mercian lord... ...whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men... ...an army, perhaps... ...but that will not stop me. Then let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife... ...you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. You're tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? Best you show me then. for making the circuit brew. It smells of piss and nightshade. The skulls say Bjorn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cut. Raised you as one would raise a child. Favorite flowers? They are not food, Njal. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Hemingas Hall. <laughs> I can see why Bjorn keeps you around. fish you want. I can help with that.
fishing arrows. Now to catch something for Nyao. <clears throat> Asked about this land, my friend.
Look at all those delicious fish. You want some fish, Nyal? Here. <laughs> Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. A strong war arm, Raven Shirt. These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young thane wanted the glory of killing me. 
they died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start, a quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right of it. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold, even taunted me. Then he... He hung her. Arfhilda. Your blood feud is just. But if it is something you must do alone... No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my Berserker brew. You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodorus. Nightshade often grows near graveyards, and Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England. Nightshade has a distinct stench. Like this. It must be near. That is enough, Nightshade. Foul smelling herb. I should meet Bjorn. Here 
as promised. Your nightshade. Good. It has the power we need for the coming ritual. Nearly done. The Skalds say Odin hung himself in a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil. The world tree. Odin's gallows. The place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it without fear. For you bear skins. The wolf shuts you drinkers of blood. We fight for glory, we shield biters. War breakers, born in battle's flood. I've been close to death many times, but this, this was different. Ah, feels like a Jotun kicked my head in. Tis glorious, is it not? Berserker brew does not, does not agree with my belly. But you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes, but you, you were a bear. And the bear power courses through me still. I'm ready. Where to? The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorchsworth. We shall kill them all. With me! No! Y'all will taste mercy and blood. Show me what you can do, Berserker! Oh! <laughs> 
Show yourselves, cowards! Get round the side. Bleeding dunghill to me! Yow! Bjorn! Bjorn, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Should you be willing? What is it? Njal is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. Please, bring us some of her favorite flowers. They look like... I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. Stay strong, my child. 
Bjorn is here. I saw some of Njarl's favorite flowers growing beneath the gallows tree. grave. No wonder he visits this tree often. Flowers for Njal. Now to meet Bjorn beneath the gallows tree. I brought her here, where it began, where it ends. I understand. They hung my wife in this tree, and buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njarl in as a cub. She and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. Yet I remain. Dear Njarl. You were always at my side. For the better years of my life. I must have done like this. Njarl sleeps at the Allfather's feet tonight. Yes. They let loyal hounds into the Hall of the Brave. So Njarl too is there. With Alfhilda. Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. There will be a place for you in my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfhilda and Njal during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you are ready, follow the River Nen to my settlement. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the Berserker of the Raven Clan. 